So we got Craig Morgan, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, live at the Opry. So I don't know what to expect. This is definitely a church song, but I wonder if, if it's like closely related to what we heard yesterday with um, what's his name, um, Randy Travis. You know what I'm saying? If it's closely related to that Randy Travis song, so let's get it. I like the whole setup at the Opry, man. Lights are shining bright, as always downtown on the road. Ooh, so descriptive. I have friends that come from out of town asking me to go. Mm. They say there's so much going on. Why don't you come along and show us around? I tell them Karen's not feeling well, so I probably shouldn't go out. Besides, I've got to fix a list of things I need to do around the house. Then I hang up the phone, turn the radio back on, and sit back down. <laughs> you know what? When I think about a message like that, uh, it always like, you know what? I'm going to tell the homies, like, man, I'm giving excuse to the homies why I can't go out, but I'm a homebody. You know what I mean? And it's kind of almost that same direction that you go once you get saved and you're trying to change your life and you're trying to change your patterns and you're trying to wash and renew your mind. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to wash and renew your mind and you don't want to go back in those same habits. You know what I'm saying? I went through something similar in 2013 when I started to get out to clubs and you know, when I was just coming off a stand of like six months of doing Molly, like that was wild. You know what I mean? But let's get it. Go back on and sit back down. <laughs> I know my boy ain't here, but he ain't gone. And in the mornings I wake up, give her a kiss head to the kitchen. He did speak about his son being gone. So I'm wondering where he's going with that. Let me see. Let me go back. Maybe I missed something. He crying out. He really crying out. Father, my son, and the Holy Ghost. I've been beat up, I've been pushed and shoved, but never ever really knocked down. Between mom and dad, Uncle Sam and friends, I somehow always pulled out. But the pain of this was more than I'd ever felt before. preaching right there he definitely preaching right there i i hate to stop it but i just wanted to make this quick point before i forgot um for those of you who really turned their life around and even non-religiously if you had to turn your life around man you've had those nights man it's almost like you detoxing out of your old habits and stuff like that and you can't go out there you know that's bad for you and stuff and you have those nights where it's really 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 hard and getting to you the temptations and I mean bro that stage of when you change in your life and you go through that broken stage to you like you're breaking yourself almost like a fast you're fasting from your lifestyle your previous lifestyle and it's one it's one of those things that you hate it but you know what's necessary and you try to be strong enough to pull through 
and and get on the other side of growth. You know what I mean? Like I can I can't never forget about that them six months I was doing Molly, man. And I was just so depressed. I was so depressed. Um more so about my mother, but then there was some things health wise going on with me. So, you know, being in that position, you know, feeling like nothing, everything is lost, and then you start going into a lifestyle like that, man, it's it's wild, man. Not to say too much, but it's wild. So I really like um what he said, man, crying on the floor, praying, man, and just trying to get over it. Prayed and prayed till I thought I couldn't pray anymore. Then minute by minute, day by day, my God, he gave me hope. I know my boy ain't here, but he ain't gone. In the mornings I wake up, give her a kiss and to the kitchen. So he did that again. He talked about his son being gone. So he must have had something personal happen to him. But he always refers the son as my son. You know how they say the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. But he said the father, I got the father, my son, and the Holy Ghost. That's a good uh, little, uh, alliteration. Almost like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's taking that Changing that one small word and making it personal. That's deep. That's deep. In the mornings I wake up, give her a kiss. She can really hit a pain. Pour a cup and wake me up and try to rouse up some ambition. Go outside, sit by myself, but I ain't alone. I've got the Father, my Son, and the Holy Ghost. One day I'll wake up and I'll be home. Oh, you about to cry. With the Father, my Son, and the Holy Ghost. I hear you. The man was cooking. The man was cooking. The man was cooking. That's a great message. That's a great message. Um, just changing up that one lyric, man, made it so personal. Uh, really resonates with me with what was going on in my life at the time. And I hope, religious or not, you could take something away from this as well. Um, you guys know where my faith stands, you know. Um, but I hope you guys can take something from this, even if you're not. Um, I just said that. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below. Um, make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe. And also, we got the uh, live stream on Saturday, most popular songs of the 70s. So I want you guys to actually be there and enjoy it with us. You know what I mean? And also, if you want 100% Discord notification or you want 100% notifications from YouTube, hit the Discord link in the description. All right? Catch you guys later, man. Peace.